The island of Sodor is home to lots of Thomas's friends. Friends on the rails, friends on the roads, and even some friends in the air. They are all very different and each very special. And they are all Thomas's friends. Steamies and Diesels aren't always the best of friends. One day, Neville arrived on Sodor. Neville was a steamy, but he was square, so he looked like a diesel. Thomas puffed into the shunting yards. He saw Neville with Ari and Bert. Ari and Bert were giggling gleefully. The three engines looked like firm friends. Thomas was surprised. If Neville was a friend of the diesels, Thomas decided he wasn't a friend of the Sodor steamies. Thomas puffed into Knapford. Soon, all the engines had heard that Neville was best friends with the diesels. So none of the steamies wanted to talk to him. Neville felt sad. He puffed away towards the iron bridge. Then Toby puffed in. He told Thomas that Salty had seen Ari and Bert playing tricks on Neville. Thomas felt terrible. He had thought all the wrong things about Neville. Now Neville was puffing fast to the bridge. It was Thomas's job to warn the engines that the bridge was broken. But Thomas had said nothing to Neville. Thomas raced after Neville. Neville puffed fast to the bridge. He saw the barrier, but he couldn't stop. He crashed through the barrier. Thomas raced up. He had to rescue Neville. He heaved and he hauled, wheel turn by wheel turn. He pulled Neville back from the edge of the bridge and to safety. Thomas and Neville are now good friends, even though Neville looks like a diesel. Dennis is a diesel. And Thomas quickly learned Dennis knew all the diesel tricks. It was Thomas's day off. Dennis asked Thomas to help him shunt his heavy cars of slate tiles for the school. Thomas is always happy to be helpful. He puffed and huffed to help the new engine. Later, Dennis told Thomas he had broken down. Even though it was his day off, Thomas raced away to find help. Thomas didn't know that Dennis hadn't broken down at all. Dennis was just being lazy and playing a trick. Later, Dennis really did break down. Thomas was surprised that Dennis had come off the rails. Dennis told Thomas that he had tricked him before. That made Thomas cross. He had never met a really lazy engine. So he decided to show Dennis how to become a really useful engine. Thomas buffered up to Dennis and his freight cars. And together, they delivered the tiles to the school. Sir Topham Hatt was pleased. Dennis was very happy Thomas had helped him. And Thomas was happy to show Dennis that really useful engines make a lot more friends than really lazy ones. <laughs>